Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we anticipate the installation of Cardinal Jose Advincula tomorrow as our new Archbishop of Manila, we offer this Mass specially for him as Bishop of our local church. We pray that through his faith, it may bear good fruit, good harvest in our local church in Manila. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, eternal shepherd, who govern your flock with unfailing care, grant in your boundless fatherly love a pastor for your church 
who will please you by His holiness and to us show watchful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Fear not, Abram. I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house Eliezer? Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, and so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abraham put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from your hour of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O Lord God, he asked, how am I to know what I shall possess? It? He answered him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abraham brought him all this, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke His name. Make known among the nations His deeds. Sing to Him. Sing His praise. Proclaim all His wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Glory in His holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in His strength. Seek to serve Him constantly. The Lord remembers His covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, His servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Asa. 
The Lord remembers His covenant forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits, you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so, every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So, by their fruits, you will know them. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When I was trying to review my homilies about this gospel passage, and I know many of you are familiar with this gospel passage, I always focused on, when I was reviewing my homilies, I always focused on the bad fruit. So, I would always focus on giving examples of what bad fruits are. I always focused on the ravenous wolves under sheep's clothing. I forgot that Jesus was also pertaining to the good fruits. My dear brothers and sisters, this is my suggestion for every one of us today. Yes, Jesus was teaching us about the bad fruits of the ravenous wolves under sheep's clothing. But let us not forget that Jesus was also giving importance to good fruits. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is telling us that if we are connected to the good tree, then we will bear good fruits. And we will see an example of this in our first reading today. When Abraham put his faith in the words of God, promising him that he will have an heir, a son, a child. Because Abraham looked at his life as a life that is not good without an heir, without a child. And when God promised him that he will have descendants, According to our first reading in the book of Genesis, Abraham put his faith in the Lord and the Lord credited it to him 
as an act of righteousness. My dear brothers and sisters, if we put our faith in the Lord, then the Lord will make sure that our faith in Him will bear good fruit. Kapag tayo po ay may pananalig at may pananampalataya sa Diyos, yan ay magbubunga ng mabuting bunga galing sa Diyos. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, aside from focusing on the bad fruits, today I ask you, focus also on the good fruits. If you put your faith in God like Abraham, then He will let good fruits bear from your faith. Sana po ngayong araw, ito ang maipaalala sa atin ng mga pagbasa, maipaalala sa atin ni Jesus, na kapag tayo ay nanalig sa Diyos, kagaya ni Abraham sa ating unang pagbasa, yung pananampalataya na yan ay magbubunga ng mabuti sa tulong at kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Manalig ka lamang at magbubunga yan ng mabuti. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we anticipate the uh, installation of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. It will be tomorrow morning here at the Manila Cathedral. And we pray that through the faith of Cardinal Jose Advincula, good fruits will come out in the Archdiocese of Manila. We know that Cardinal Advincula follows great names, Cardinal Sin, Cardinal Santos, Cardinal Rosales, Cardinal Tagle. But now we have a new gift. And we have faith in God that Cardinal Advincula, a new gift in the church, through his faith in God, will give us good harvest, good fruits in the Archdiocese. Ipanalangin po natin ngayong araw na sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya ni Cardinal Advincula ay magbunga ito ng kabutihan dito sa ating Arkidiocese ng Maynila. Amen. Please stand. Jesus' death and resurrection has borne for us life-giving fruits. Through our prayers, may we as modern prophets give good fruits for the church and the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, Fill us with your goodness. Lord, fill us with your goodness. That the Church may lead the Christian faithful to the road that leads to the values of love, justice, and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us with, with your, your goodness. goodness. That our poor people may not be exploited or misled by false and ambitious leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us with, with your goodness, goodness, that people who are victims of injustice may be healed and learn again to develop trust and friendship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord fill, fill us with, with your goodness, goodness, that the sick and the dying may draw strength from Jesus who came to the aid of the sick and the helpless. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, fill us with your goodness that the dead may finally receive the rewards of their labors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with your goodness. Heavenly Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your abundant kindness favor us, O Lord, that through the sacred offerings we reverently bring to you, we may come to rejoice that a pastor pleasing to your majesty presides over your holy church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we have been renewed, O Lord, with the supreme sacrament of salvation, the body and blood of your only begotten Son, may the wondrous grace of your majesty gladden us with the gift of a shepherd who will instruct your people by his virtues and imbue the minds of the faithful with the truth of the gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now all together pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ good, good Shepherd and High Priest, priest we, we praise you and offer you our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal Jose Advincula to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening father, a faithful teacher, and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Grant him health, strength, and wisdom. Strengthen the bonds of unity among us, your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. Grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We would like to remind uh, everyone that tomorrow, uh, to give way to the schedule of the a solemn installation of Cardinal Advincula, we will be uh, canceling our regular schedule of Masses at 7.30 a.m. and 12 in the afternoon. So you may tune in at uh, 9 a.m. for the Mass and installation of our new Archbishop of Manila, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And also on Friday, uh, we will also cancel the regular 7.30 a.m. Mass on Friday uh, because we will give way to the Mass with the representatives of the parishes uh, with Cardinal Advincula at 9 a.m. also on Friday. But we will be having the 12 noon Mass on Friday. So please be advised of these uh, changes of our schedule tomorrow, Thursday, and also on Friday. 
And uh, for those who would want to join us, uh, you would be uh, asked to join us online uh, since we have a limited capacity here inside the cathedral. Only uh, certain people will be allowed inside the cathedral for the installation tomorrow. So we ask all of you to tune in online through the Manila Cathedral Facebook page or you can watch on TV through TV Maria channels. So we could be one together as one archdiocese in welcoming our new archbishop. And tonight, our healing rosary for the world will be hosted by the St. Joseph Shrine of the Diocese of Cobao in Quezon City. And we thank Father Ronald Macale and Father Jello Parlan, the priests in St. Joseph Shrine in Cobao, for hosting our healing rosary for the world tonight. So at 9 p.m. tonight, let us once again be together in praying the healing rosary for the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our life.